that cost reduction with the um, with the darkness has been so so clutch. I guess I could have. So I could have. Oh, I didn't have the mana flex here. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, we good. We have the darkness can now target anything. Thanks to Grand Overseer Vega. We'll just get them down to one. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some darkness control. That's right, Beyond the Bandlewood is finally here. This is our very first Beyond the Bandlewood deck. First deck with Bandle City in it, and so I haven't played any games yet. This, these are You're going to watch the very first games that we're going to play with Bandle City, and we're going to be playing Darkness Control, because this looks pretty sweet. We're going to have Senna and Vagar as our two champions. They're going to be creating some darkness for us, and we're going to be using those darkness to hopefully just control the board. And we have a lot of different ways to make darkness. So darkness starts as a three mana uh, slow spell that d does two damage, but we have a lot of ways to make that darkness better. First, Vagar. Every single round, let's increase that damage by one. Then we have Senna. Um, that can accelerate the darkness from slow speed to fast speed even better Then we have other cards like stilted road maker, which is going to be very important Reducing the cost of darkness everywhere by once. So we don't have to be spending three mana each time that we cast it um, Then we'll have Twisted catalyzer also being able to grant the darkness everywhere extra one damage to be able to add on there And then we finally have just more cards to create darknesses the Solari Sentinel your dark bulb acolyte um, Ixtali Sentinel. This this thing can create another darkness. And then finally, Des and Ada. This A drop looks incredible. Des and Ada, when I'm summoned, you know, you create your darkness, then your next darkness costs zero. And then it also does two to all enemies. That sounds pretty sweet. So that's kind of what our deck's just going to do, right? We're going to be darkness control. Got a few removal spells here and there. We got a few ways to get a little bit extra card advantage here and there. And that's the rest of the deck. There's a lot of different like one drops to play, uh, one mana cards to play. I'm gonna try this Yordle Squire. I like that it's a two one. I think two ones are much better than one ones. You can trade it pretty well or put extra pressure on the opponent. And this whole tiny spear, tiny shield thing, I think could be kind of nice. You know, maybe making like one of our champions have a little bit more health with that plus zero, plus one. Or that plus one, plus zero, I think could work really well with Senna. I think there's a big difference between a five power quick attack and a four power quick attack. Lots of five health things running around. So I think that could be um, a pretty uh, big card for Senna. So we'll just kind of see. But you know, if your Ordle Squire doesn't perform very well, there's a lot of other options in the one mana slot that we could play instead. All right, but let's go ahead and play some Darkness Control. We're gonna go head on over to Ranked. Ranked just reset with the new expansion coming out. So we're down at plat four. Like I said, this is the first games uh, with the new expansion here. Okay, so we're starting with Zareth Zillion, which I do have a donation to build a Zareth Zillion deck in the future. So we're gonna have to do that. Let's go ahead and mulligan the Decinata, and I think I'm keeping the rest. I could see sending back Senna, but... So these Acolytes have Augment as well. So whenever we cast the Darkness, it turns into a three, two. Oh, I'm already really liking this board. This new board. New board music sounds good. We got Puff Cat Pup. <laughs> At attention. I got my own Puff Cat Pup back here. Let's go with the shield against Zillion and Zara that do like little one damage things. I'm going to attack before Zillion comes in play. So otherwise that Zillion would have blocked very well. Now, when am I? You gotta see what these new... <laughs> gotta see what the new pet does. New Guardian. It has jumping jacks.
Wastewalker, three mana, three, three. When an allied landmark is destroyed, grant me plus one, plus one. I, I always kind of thought that, that was a one-time thing, but now, like whenever I first read the card, but now reading it, that's not just a one-time thing, is it? You can keep on doing this over and over and keep growing this thing, can't you? Interesting. My card's better than I thought at first. Love draw drawing at this robe maker. Make these darkness cost two. Work the fabric, minions. Work it. Zillion's always a kind of a difficult champion because you want to, you know, you want to kill Zillion, but if they have the second Zillion in hand, it could just make your life a little worse. Killing it, that is. Yeah, Agent Iowa says, biggest shock for me. I always thought that the new Karina would just use up the effects for the flash bombs and puff caps. And that answer is no, just activates all of them and leaves them in the deck. All right, so unfortunately, they did have the second zillion. That's, that hurts. They did have that second zillion. Man, my Dark Bulb Acolyte's getting pretty big. All right, so we're probably going to need to kill Zillion this next round. I will fashion this world in my image. You know, we'll have something die with this combo that's going to enable Black Spear. So let's get some Black so we can take out one of the two champions with the Black Spear. Expect that to happen like that. Uh, I'm gonna kill the Zareth, I guess. I certainly see myself regretting this and needing to kill the Zillion instead. Okay, right negation. Okay. Yep, should take out that. Should try to take out the Zillion now. It didn't matter because they had the right negation. All right, so Zillion's gonna level up. That's obviously a problem, Zillion leveling up. Yeah, Mobilitics deck tracker probably doesn't have all the new cards yet. That would be my guess. Probably gonna mini morph this Zillion. I'm not exactly incentivized to play anything because their board is filled. Huh. I guess I'll discard a Stalking Shadows. And then we'll probably draw like a, a follower immediately. Okay, no. Alright, so what is this thing going to do in one round? I guess the 5 3 Fearsome? Well, that thing's big. Uh, I'm playing Darkness Control right now. My opponent is playing Zareth Zillion. Zareth's looking great right now. 
if I play anything, it takes three damage, but then they have just all these attackers. Like, Xerath is really scary. This is looking quite bad. I need these darknesses to do more than two damage. All right, it just takes three. I can't, I guess I should have played the Sentinel. I can't block any of these things. Nine, 12, 12. Ugh, gross. Four cards still in hand right now. Excellent. I'm doing really good, though. I'm, I'm very excited about these new cards. About playing these things. I'm definitely glad not another champion. Okay. So we're probably going to need... I mean, I kind of need the Sentinel, but actually... I kind of need the lifesteal of the Sentinel. But I'm going Senna because Senna has the possibility to be multiple darkness for me. Because that attack will create another darkness. Ready to fire. Darkness and light. Alright, so it's still only one out of three for leveling up Senna as far as slaying units with spells, because we didn't slay that unit with the spells. And those things are going to be five threes. So this would be seven out of four of their mana. Come on, we're on the clock. Spirits ain't going to free themselves. Yeah, that's what, that's what you think. I have three other mana, I can go with this thing and the sen Sentinel. Ooh. I mean, just taking one damage. Well, wait, 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 I can block there. So Vengeance plus give all enemies minus two, minus zero this round. That is strong to quite strong for one card. I am here until I am no more. No. My Senna is about to level up. Darkness and light. Vagar. I would prefer to have like all those those two twos just die to my Decinata. Okay, so they either have a four seven zillion, man, this golden ambassador is perfect, or a six six Zareth. Either one of those are really difficult, and I kind of need a mini morph, but I kind of can't mini morph. So looks like I'm going with the. I will shake death as easily as clay. No, I think the I think the mini morph is is really strong. I'm I'm uh, I, I really like mini morph. I think it's going to be really good against all sorts of stuff. I think this deck definitely should be playing mini morph. Um, I am going to pass. No, I gotta kill. I gotta play this darkness. Okay, final answer attack. So again, we know they have the Zareth. Or Zillion. They have two Zareths, one Zillion in their deck still, so it's most likely Zareth. So this is this is probably Zareth. Zareth will be a 6-6. Six, six. Oh no, and then a Spirit Fire? Oh no. Okay, well we need to cast this then. I mean I don't want to, but Life is cyclical. Dark and Okay, so that's the third Spirit Fire. They are all about those Spirit Fires. So those, that's their third one. Okay, so all they have is this Zareth. 
But now, Xerath is going to be very good. Okay. So we're going to mini-morph Xerath. And then play Vagar. I guess I can play this thing. Nah, Vagar. So Vagar's a 2-5. Yes! Awesome, we got the Grand Overseer Vagar. I'm basically playing this so I can get this round start thing going. To have it do extra damage. Oh no! Oh no! I just died! Wow. Well, I guess I'm taking exact lethal. Man, what a card to draw. Seven power over two bodies. Okay, well. That was a very good, very good game though. Very good game of just learning, you know, the new cards and just seeing how they interact and everything like that. Didn't go our way, but it's enjoyable to play. All right, gonna send both of these back. Getting this card is really important of having these darkness cost less, you know, having those cost two the whole time instead of three is very important. I would love to have another copy. This is this Stilted Row Maker is the main reason why I'm playing two copies of Stalking Shadows in the deck to you know hopefully hit Robe Maker and have multiple of, of those. You need Vagar early. I mean, I only had Vagar. I didn't have Vagar until the, like the end of the game. I didn't have Vagar like the first ten rounds of the game. I didn't. I didn't draw one. I thought about playing that card. But then I looked, and there's just a lot of not so great Shadow Isle spells. Something. I dropped everything. Cool. Just got an upgrade there. Come, come. It's showtime. Look at the cards to me. Ah, oh, darling. Care for your measurements. This will be kept right. Right. What does prank do? It it chooses. You, you choose, like, one of two random cards in the opponent's hand or deck to give a nerf to, and it, you know, it'll give you two options, and you get, you choose one of the two options, basically. Very, very good draw. Perfection. I should attack right there. That's probably a mistake. Well, I guess I guess making this thing a four-two for that three-four, but now they have they have the ability to play other blockers. Yeah, another Senna. I'm gonna leave that to you, little guy. <laughs> Just kill me. Moving in. Don't have any warning shots. It's gonna end up being a poor attack. But, you know, it's putting a lot of pressure on them, getting six damage in and just, just doing one trade and then getting three damage on a Senna to make it easier to kill the Senna. Oh, please do that. <laughs> really? I guess they get to do that. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, because it's not a strike. I was, you know, it's, it's attack, not strike. With 
our crystals combined? <laughs> Pokey stick. Yeah, an even bigger weapon. Go away. Yeah, I didn't have Senna. Yeah, Delphine says I don't like Senna at all competitively. Yeah, I don't. I didn't have Senna high on my tier list. I did not. Vagar has felt like the better card in the two in the darkness deck so far. I wish I would have stalking shadows that, but I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because if I play that thing, then they cost zero. I'll just play this guy. Alright, so my darknesses are doing four damage all the time and they cost zero mana right now. Well, not right now, once I play this thing. Des and Ada. Give me your malice, creatures of doom. Got this from a side quest. So this is your next darkness costs zero. It already does usually cost zero, but it does two to all enemies. Yeah, isn't the puppy so cute? I really like this board too, like the music with the board and everything. I like it quite a bit. They have more cards in hand than I do, by a lot. So Destinate is basically Riptide Rex. Basically. to nine. Vagar, let's go. I'm going to start with the Sentinel. Have Vagar afterwards, but Sentinel plus Vagar is 10 mana, so we can have both of those this round. Sentinel does a good job blocking the Senna. Keep your distance. What are you made of? I want to just block there. Turn it against them. <laughs> That's it. That cost reduction with the um with the darkness has been so so clutch. I guess I could have so I could have Oh I didn't have the mana flex here. Never mind, never mind. Okay, we good. Yeah, the darkness can now target anything. Thanks to the Grand Overseer Vega. We'll just get them down to one. And do five to them. 
probably safer than just attacking. Yeah, so that's what they had to do. That's still not going to save them. Gonna be a long night. On some coffee. There we go. Alright, so we got the mirror match. Darkness control, our uh, darkness cost zero. That cost reduction darkness guy, so important. All right, so Nami Fizz. This is a deck that a lot of people are talking about. This is my first time to see it. We'll see it in action for the first time. Um, but this is a deck that a lot of people are talking about it being pretty good. I'm gonna go and send Senna back. Just, you know, five mana champion and all. Um, I would like those darkness to cost a little less first, but it looks like we'll just find <laughs> five and six mana cards again. So that's not spectacular. Let's go with the tiny spear. Otterpus is pretty awesome. That's good. So they got the prank card. So they get to look at two cards. So it looks like those are the two cards. Alright, they're making the tiny spear cost two more. Alright, I'm perfectly fine with that because I don't need to basically ever cast that card. And so very happy about that. Um... What? Man, that card's awesome. <laughs> they gave Viljwater some good cards. I guess this, this is Bandle, but... Yep, two mana Petty Officer. You just don't have the choice to, gra to grab a Powder Keg. Take the pass. Oh, I guess that's the bad thing about taking the pass and getting them getting all that spell mana is bad for Nami. Two mana petty officer. Yep, yep, yep. I've got the right. All right, so um, darkness does three now thanks to the catalyzer. When I'm summoned, create two pranks. So this thing can't block anymore. A lot of darkness out there. Let's make some of our own. So Destinator have minus two health now. Those pranks are solid. So I could spend three mana for darkness, but just. To, we'll just create another darkness, but that just doesn't really seem worth it. Ready, just gonna attack. So I figure we're gonna have to mini morph this fizz next round. This round, what are we doing? Playing the lifesteal thing? I guess it can't block. Give me your valley's creatures of doom! Deal two to four ran different randomly targeted enemies and create a colossal wave. 
It's not bad at all. And that just punishes me so much for for playing this playing this catalyzer last round instead of the sentinel. Come on, we're on the clock. Spirits well, ain't gonna free themselves. Yeah. Maybe I can just take the maybe I can just take the hit from Fizz. Not have to many maybe I don't have to many more Fizz. So I guess Desonata is gonna be really good against Fizz next round. They do need another enemy, so using gonna be a long night. I'll put on some coffee. Using the uh Black Spears coming back to haunt me. Starkness control deck is gonna be playing some super long games, right? Because you're just creating all sorts of cards everywhere. You know, you're creating so many darknesses everywhere and everything like that. Good. So now we have something else that we can target with the darkness. That kills the fizz. Good. The Mirai will never know fear again. All of the level up animations that they've made in this expansion are all really cool. They've done a great job with these level up expansions recently. Or like just the level ups in these recent expansions. This has been a difficult deck to play. Cause they can prank darkness now? Yeah, that was just, so I guess it's just always two, two cards in your hand. It's not like two cards in your deck or hand, it's just always two cards in your hand. So yeah, now from just as 4-3, it makes all Withering Whales everywhere cost 9 mana. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Wow. Wow, that thing hit Pool Shark at this point of the game? Sure. Oh, okay, it's in hand if possible, so if you have cards in hand, it does hand. Not having the card, the the reduction, the card reduction, cost reduction, card for darkness is really hurt. You know, spending three mana on darkness every time definitely hurts. Nine mana Withering Whale? Deal four to all enemies and the enemy nexus. Second time's worth. Yeah, and all the pranks just let you see the opponent's hand. So at least that's that's the last one of those four threes. They've gotten all three of them. Okay, so that thing's ephemeral, that thing now costs two more, the tiny spear doesn't matter anyway. Because yeah, now they get to base, they've basically seen my entire hand now. Big head, big brain! 
find the living and the dead. Everything costs so much mana. Okay, oh, so it's only just that card. It's not all copies of it everywhere. So this Glimpse Beyond still costs two. Oh, I thought it was like all copies of that card everywhere. They didn't block. They just have a little one one. Life is sick yeah, I think I think they didn't realize what the sentinel was gonna do. You know, that like that little one one needs to block. All right, but still crazy game, and you can see some crazy potential there with that Fizz Nami deck. Caitlyn Timo, cool. We're gonna be playing Caitlyn Timo here, uh, third deck today after Draven Scion. Good, we got. We got some cost reduction, we need that. We'll send the Senna's back. Nice, another cost reduction. Good, good, good. We should have a lot of cards with Caitlyn, Caitlyn Timo, and so we should have a lot of cards that create darkness, and therefore um, getting those cost, those cost of darkness less, very important. Hey, Yordle Squire, what you doing now? I need you last round, bud. Little Squire. Zon taught me to never let my guard down. Big head, big brain! On foot. Alright, good card for them. We got two traps, two flash bombs. In the top ten cards of the deck. Mine's the water! Let's talk this out. It's not always great to draw cards against this dunk. It's kind of never that great to draw cards. It's just... I have nothing else to do with my hand. News from the Undercity shift, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off next Good time. hand for the opponent. This is ideal, right? You get the Sting Officer plus Caitlyn plus a Brittle Steel for the first three rounds. That looks great. Yeah, we're in trouble. Come, come. It's oh, it's yeah, this was a great hand for them. So right now they cost one less. Chin up and smile. Hmm. I am here until I am no more. Thank you, Gamma. Thanks for the donation deck there. Notified patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. I've always been a fun guy. This is, looks exactly like the deck that we're going to be playing, you know, I have all these cards in the deck later, so hopefully we can do exactly what my opponent's doing right now. This has been very impressive. So hopefully we can do the exact same stuff. Alright, we're going to turn. Caitlyn's about to level up. We're just going to get rid of that Caitlyn. Hopefully we can have like this exact same hand. This has been awesome. Okay, that's the first card that my opponents played that I do not have. My version. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. That's pretty awesome. Bottom the trail. I think they got us. I think we have too many expensive cards. Yeah, I think they got us. You could say I got a life wish. 
Arena? What brings you here? Business and pleasure, Sheriff. Nice hand. Turn it against them. No traps in the top five. A lot more sense. Down to eight. Okay. I thought we had no traps in the top five. I guess that's not the case. Alright, great game opponent. That deck looked really cool. Looked awesome. How do I like the new stuff? Very fresh. You know, we get to see a lot of like different style of decks than what we had before. So I'm really liking it. Um, you know, we don't know how long it will last, and you know, everybody's trying out the new stuff until people go back to old stuff, everything like that. But um, yeah, it's very fresh and and uh, and fun. Fun. Yeah, like we just had a lot of fun today in these games. And, you know, one two. I should probably go oh, plus oh plus one. So I'm not sure about the Yordle Squires, they've been okay. There's maybe a better card to play, as far as a one mana card goes. They haven't been too bad, this was kind of imagining of like, trying to have them get ahead. Sure, I could play Go Hard instead. I don't. I'm not very big on Go Hard in this kind of deck because I just I don't really like Go Hard. So they have they have a Darkness that does too. That's the thing. I play Catalyzer. They play Darkness. All right, let's go get him, Twisted Catalyzer. Get him. Yeah. We two of the five games we've had Vagar early, and they were both the the Mirror Match game. Those are the only games we had Vagar early. Uh, which one am I killing? Probably Vagar. Yeah, I guess it's Vagar. Yeah. Yeah, y'all said Vagar as well. Ready to fire. We'll take the four. Yeah, because I guess my darkness costs three. If I if I didn't play that, I could have played Senna plus darkness. Oh, there's this fast speed. Mm. I guess I shouldn't have played that. I shouldn't have played that, so I had the three extra mana, so I could have played Santa plus Darkness. That was a mistake. But from here, you know, we can't go back in time, so from here, I think I just simply attack and have them use their Darkness on my 4 2. Use our tiny shield. So if they want to kill Vagar, they gotta use something like that darkness. Number three. 
soon, Lord Vagar. It will be ready soon. Our darknesses are going to be doing lots of damage. You could say I got a life here. Six? Six is a lot. Turn it against them. So that is their third go hard. It's fine with me. The other opponent that was playing with his darkness control deck was also playing go hard. And we also won. Alright, so I think I'm gonna Pokey Stick. Oh, they still draw a card? Come on. If I Pokey Stick my own thing to get rid of their Pokey Stick, they shouldn't draw a card. But I guess they do, so. Never mind. Draw Vagar here. Oh, we've had a. We've had a non Jamie die. Sweet. So, like these. <laughs> they only have one card to prank, a mini morph. Oh, that levels up Senna! Yeah, dude, that's a sweet animation. Alright. Make these all fast. Or, I guess these two make them fast, and now they cost one less. Yeah, Pokey Stick's so good. We need Vagar so we can target their Nexus. I am here until I am no more. No. Uh, grant plus two cost to Darkness? Come on. Rude. Doesn't mean they get to block Senna for free, but I get this darkness back. I have another Senna in hand. Let me just cast the darkness. Make the hurt your weapon. The light remains. Right, that was only that darkness that got affected. Right, not all darkness. So we effectively have the same number of cards in hand as they do. But we still have two cards in play. The mini minimores haven't been as good as, as I expected them to be. Easy choice. <laughs> Alright, so many morph costs eight now. Concentrated forgiveness. Oh, but this is what darkness can do. I guess we do have to pack our bags. Long road behind, long road ahead. Darkness and light. I 
They're down to down to five. Until I am no more. I think I just pass. I don't think I have to play any of these. I'd love to draw Vagar. Yeah, these mini morphs would definitely have been better as vengeance. Just be able to vengeance would be nice. Yeah, there we go. Stolly Sentinel should finish this out. See, that's the thing. You get just so many pack your bags in your deck that you just end up only having pack your bags. And pack your bags is not that good to be drawing in the late game. Sure, or go hards. Sorry. Sure, they they did have me pack your bags, but oh, we already had the darkness in hand. I should have cast it. Right, right, right. I'm sorry. I was talking about go hard and misplayed that. My bad. My bad. My bad. I would have played it. Then we wouldn't have had a target for this one, but I still should have, because then we could add just a new darkness in hand. Life is cyclical. Darkness ends. Peace. Does Pokestick do one of the Nexus? We draw a Pokestick? Lucky. Yeah, deal one to anything. Man, I want a Vagar. Lucky. I definitely messed up by not playing my darkness first. I understand now. All right, let's see what we draw. The worst possible card in the deck to draw. I think round starts creates a darkness also. Big head, big brain. Does this count the enemy nexus when it says all enemies? Here comes Protoverse finest. <laughs> oh, stop. I don't think it does. Does not. Long road behind, long road ahead. So I, I lost this game because I made a, I made a mistake. Not casting that darkness before playing the six drop cost me this game, but many morphs have looked really bad. I think that's that's kind of two both game one and game three we lost because many morph was not vengeance. Both of those games, um, just giving my opponent the three threes, the three threes killed me, and it, I needed them to be like actual removal. So that's that's kind of interesting that like uh, how bad many morph actually looked. At times, I think that maybe maybe three mini morphs is too much. You know, maybe you got to just kind of split it up because you know having a, a mini morph for like a fizz or a lee sin or something like that, like where they can't protect, does sound pretty nice. But then there's times like both game one and game five, I think I said one and three. Sorry, game one and game five, where you need removal and you just can't turn things into three threes because the three threes will still kill you. So we drew pretty bad there that game five. I made a mistake and mini morph really underperformed. So all three of those kind of combined to uh, have us lose that. They did. They did have a lot more card draw 
than us. At least they drew their card draw, right? Like we didn't have any, you know, we didn't have Glimpse Beyonds or Stalking Shadows or anything that last game. There's a lot of things that could have gone just a little bit differently for me to win that last game. We'll have to keep on, keep on working with this Yordle Squire. I think it did okay. I think it did okay. I think that uh, Mini Morph looked a lot worse than I expected. And I would probably want one or two max two because those are both those games that we lost we just drew a lot of mini morphs and i think you do kind of need like some kind of vengeance also yeah so i could see many more mini morph just being like a you know basically one of these numbers two and one or one and two i think you go go one of those two numbers whichever one because you, you want to just keep killing stuff yeah i was using stalking shadows and glimpse beyond for my card draw um we saw my uh, opponent play the five mana thing that turns into a three mana burst speed draw two that card looked pretty good this card right here hidden pass hidden uh pathways so that's three you know maybe that's better than glimpse beyond i could i could definitely see that i could definitely see playing this hidden pathways and maybe you just play that instead of the stalking shadows right stalking shadows looked bad at times yeah i could see kind of just doing just doing this card instead yeah, yeah, I think I like that. I think I like just playing Hidden Pathways instead. All right, so yeah, try try, try that out. Try Pathways instead, and try maybe one or two Vengeance and one or two Mini Morph. Kind of, you know, play around with that, whichever one you're comfortable with. But the rest of the list I really liked, and I, I think that we're playing some different cards that maybe other people necessarily aren't, but I think I liked a lot of the other stuff with the list. Um, kind of changing that up, I think that both Game 1 and Game 5 were winnable. If those would have been wins, we were looking at like a 4-1 here. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Darkness Control. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well and let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know what you think of this version of Darkness Control. If you try it out yourself. Um, and let me know how it's going for you here with these new champions, Vagar and Senna. Also, if you're playing other new stuff that you want to see here on stream, feel free to leave a comment about those decks and let me know how they're going for you. All right, but that's going to be it for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.